Using music to seduce. Music, one of the most powerful ways of conveying feelings and emotions. From the tension inducing strings used in the shower scene in Psycho to the ominous double bass as the shark theme from Jaws, my ringtone incidentally, and to the uplifting melodies of Walking on Sunshine. Music has a formidable power to instill sadness, joy, and fear. From the earliest days of our existence, as we delighted in the sung nursery rhymes of three blind mice, or the excitement of a toddler recognizing the theme tune to his or her favorite television program, through to the regal entrance of the Queen of Sheba at a wedding, or the accompanying sounds to a funeral, music is all pervading. and all-powerful. Music creates the urge to dance and to sing. It inspires and motivates. Think how much further you can run on that treadmill when you listen to some up dance music or your favorite pop tunes. Supermarkets alter the music played over the tannoy to influence the speed at which shoppers move about the store. Advertisers look for that annoyingly catchy jingle that is always associated with a particular product. And if you are placed on hold whilst telephoning somebody, some soothing strings are played to you in order to maintain your patience. Although I must concede that does not always have the desired effect. Music has the capacity to change moods in an instant, to heighten feelings and manipulate emotions. And of course, it is this last characteristic of music that is so useful to our kind. We use music extensively in the way that we manipulate. We may exhibit our proficiency with a musical instrument to lure you to us, this being a particular favourite step of the cerebral of our kind. Our somatic brethren use the breathless excitement of a frenetic and popular entertainer at a sold out concert to draw their prey. We ensure that we create a catalogue of songs which will generate ever-presence when we have discarded you or you try to escape us through the application of no contact. Every time you hear the opening strains of the power of love, your mind is taken back to the times we held one another as we listen to that song and I pledge to protect you from the hooded claw, keep the vampires from your door. You are engulfed in sadness at such a memory, and music has taken you back to that time in an instant. We, of course, always look to create our song, which we use at first as a device to hook you, hold you, and then repeatedly remind you of what we once had, and talk to you in the months and years following the cessation of our relationship. Naturally, when assessing you as a target, I had regard to the songs you posted late at night, perhaps when you were mulling over a pre previous relationship on your Facebook newsfeed. I worked through your social media, making a note of the songs you refer to and the context as I begin to compile that playlist for use when I commence my seduction of you. I may use a lieutenant to gain access to your CD collection or to scroll through your iTunes list. He or she will have particular regard to how often certain songs have been played when looking on iTunes and feeding that information to me. I make use of your list of songs and then supplement that list with the stock lists which I have and repeatedly use. I have such ready-made playlists of my favourite songs dependent on your favourite genres. Accordingly, I have a pop one, a rock one, a dance one, a classical one, a soundtrack one, and so on. All except rap. Rap is no use when trying to seduce. If you revel in the disposable joy of pop music, I will have a set of tracks for use when I seduce you. I know these are effective, 
because I used them with my last pop-loving victim. One of my favourite methods of seduction is to not tell you how I feel about you directly, but always convey it via the power of music. I will send you a text with a song title, which will implicitly suggest that you look it up on YouTube or iTunes. And in so doing, you will sit and smile as the music washes over you and the seduction begins to envelop you. I may send you the link for the song or I may purchase the CD and leave it on the passenger seat of your car for you to play. I may feign that I was so hurt by my last relationship that I struggle to tell you how I feel and I can only do so through the medium of music. This makes you feel special. And each time I provide you with the details of a song I provide, you with a concentrated blast of delicious and addictive seduction. By contrast, during my devaluation of you, I will deny ever Lion King certain songs that I once professed to love in order to confuse you. I will change the type of music that I prefer and claim I have always loved that music. I will denigrate your music choices, complaining loudly if you play certain music, or I will just leave the room. When I know you are struggling and feeling weak, I will then revert to the seduction tactics and suddenly fill the room with the sound of a particular song which is so very significant to you, and just stand and stare at you, waiting for the inevitable tears to start to flow along with the fuel that I desire. Music is a powerful tool in our hands. It allows us to seduce, it allows us to denigrate, and it allows us to seduce once again. It lifts you up, it makes you feel cherished and special, because we know exactly the right pieces of music and songs to play to you. We know, just like that catchy song, how to ensure that every time you hear certain songs, you remember us and the pain and the longing flows once again. Music is a major weapon that we are able to use. As Bonnie Tyler once sang, once upon a time I was falling in love, now I'm only falling apart. <laughs>